Hello, my name is Steve Harbin. Thank you for joining me today. We're talking about the life of a disciple, how to walk with God and walk in fellowship with Him. We've been in this series now for a couple of weeks, and we've talked about the life of a doer, someone who does the Word, but doesn't live the Word or is not with Jesus in their everyday lives. And so we talked about this highway of holiness that God connected to my life and how that changed everything about it. And then I told you that the journey that we take with God always begins with a genuine faith in Him, genuine salvation. And I told you how you can have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you did that this week, I wish you'd go to our website at www.gmi.com and tell us about it so that we would know about your relationship with Christ. So we're going to continue this series today about the genuineness of salvation. And in this segment, I'm going to talk to you about how that relationship with Christ in a genuine way produces genuine results. The Apostle John says in God's Word, he says that God's Word was written to give us assurances about our walk with God. He said, These things have I written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, you may, that you may know that you have eternal life. You can know that. We can rely on the faithfulness of God, the trustworthiness of Jesus, the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, and the truthfulness of the Word of God. So as the Holy Spirit guides us, let's see what God's Word says about the genuineness of our salvation and our walk with Him as disciples. He says, By this we know that we have come to know Him, if we keep His commandments. The one who says, I've come to know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God is truly perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he abides in him ought to himself walk in the same manner as he walked. John was very clear about our relationship with God. The Bible tells us that there are seven critical qualities of a believer's walk. And for the next few weeks, I'm going to talk to you about these. The first is a life patterned by obedience. The Bible says, by this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. The one who says, I've come to know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him the love of God has been perfected, he says. The one who says he abides in him ought himself walk in the same manner as he walked. That's in 1 John. It's important that we understand that Jesus wants us to walk with him every day. Not just to declare that we're Christians or not just to say I go to church or I go to this church or I'm a Baptist or Methodist or whatever. He wants us to walk with him. So I want to give you three salvation secure scriptures. The first one is this. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The second one is, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. And the third secure scripture for us is that it says that the world is passing away and also its lust. The one who does the will of God lives forever. These scripture verses do a lot to help us in our walk with God. It gives us the assurance that we can walk with him and overcome any obstacles in our pathway. The Bible is clear that if we want to walk with him, we must walk in the light as he is in the light. Because when we do, we have fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. These are tremendous passages of scripture for us. Next time, we're going to look at number two in the critical qualities of a believer's walk. And we're going to know what God expects of us as we walk daily with him. Until then, check us out at our website, www.gmi.com. Write to us. Your comments are very important to us. In the meantime, this is Steve Harvin, president of WWGMI, 
And we want you to be faithful in your walk with God. Remember, build a relationship with Jesus Christ one step at a time.